Hi everyone. Yeah, who wants to come up here? Okay, we have one dog who wants to come up here. Sorry, it's more important stuff. So, um, I just saw a few posts on, come here. I just few posts about puppy biting. So here is my take. First of all, puppies do bite. That's what they do. They're puppies. They have mouth, they bite. So how can you fight back? Easy. First of all, let's talk about the don'ts. Do not hurt your puppy. Do not scare your puppy. Do not hit your puppy. Do not pull his ears. Do not wet your puppy. Don't do anything your puppy. He doesn't know why you do it. The reason why puppies bite is because they grow, they grow teeth and they need to learn to bite. Bite is a natural instinct behavior of puppies and that's why we have to let them do it. But if you are afraid of bite control, don't worry about it right now. But you have to start exercise your puppy and teach your puppy how to behave correctly. So here is five tips how to help your puppy not biting you. Tip number one, give your puppy enough rest. That's my first tip. The reason why is puppies get overexcited when they are not resting enough that makes them too excited to the point they will get really naughty and start biting everything in front of them because that's what puppies do that they're overexcited. It's overstimulation and the best way to ground it is by biting it. Tip number two, teach your puppy um, another option. Instead of biting you, he wants to bite, give him something to bite he really likes and it doesn't destroy your house. So usually puppies would like to bite on something semi-soft, maybe as soft as your hand, but not too hard because the teeth are not set yet. Meaning is if you pull or you do a move with your puppy, you may break your puppy's teeth. Um, make sure it's not chewing on something that has toxics in it. So you want to watch it. Um, tip number two, number three, okay. Tip number three, teach your puppy to sit and I will post a video on top of that. Um, sit is a very simple exercise. Simple is so simple that you grab a treat, you hold the treat, and your puppy wants to get it. So put, your, put the treat over your puppy's head so it makes the need to go backwards until he sits and then you give him the treat the moment the puppy sits. That later you call sit. So you don't tell the puppy to sit, you actually teach him how to sit and you just name it. Tip number four. If your puppy attacks you, first of all, don't run because puppies are teached to have a prey drive because they have to chase the mother. So if mama, mother runs, puppy runs too. So first of all, hold, don't run. But you can give a marker marker of pain which is the step number five Num mark your pain level so your puppy understands that that hurt puppies do understand a high pitch voice as an alarm voice a low pitch voice is a fear alarm voice so high pitch means ow it hurt me all the puppies have the same level of, of noise ow it hurt me and do not move until the puppy lets go Usually the puppy are in the first fear phase. First fear phase means the puppy is being stimulated into the fear zone with simple things like don't go over the corner, don't run against the wall. If you bite somebody, you may hurt him. So all these high peak noises create a low stimulus fear so the puppies can address that they're not getting in, the, in a danger. Do not correct the puppy because puppy does nothing wrong, okay? Do not correct your puppy. Do address the issue though by redirecting the puppy from biting you into biting something that you most like to do. So usually you can use soft toys like bones, but I would not recommend toxic plastic, okay? These are small dogs. A small amount of toxicity does already influence your dog. Antlers is a good point. There are antlers, they're counter cut or quarter cut, 
which have a soft side and they love to chew it. Antlers have also kind of an antler oil that's calming. If your puppy is over excitable or easy to excitable, lots of breaks, timeouts. The best time to play with your puppy is about an hour after, after he ate and after he slept because if you play with your puppy before he eats, he gets so excited, you have prey dive teaching your puppy. So don't do games before food. Do games after food and after sleeping. So you feed your puppy, you have your puppy rest, and then you go play with him. So enjoy your puppy respectfully and please do not hurt your puppy. Do not kick your puppy, don't, don't lift your knee, don't bite his ears. Don't put your thumb into the, the... These are all things that may work in the past, maybe sometimes, but you know what? Putting a gun on your son or your daughter doesn't make them feel better. It works though because they're scared. You don't want to go down that road, okay? I'm Roman with Roman Skin and Training and I'm a holistic dog trainer and I do not encourage to hurt your puppy. Enjoy your puppy respectfully.